Hey everybody, it's Black Spring with Autumn on this Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm just dropping in with just a little bit of the commentary. I think this is more of a, I'm getting a little bit into the weeds with the, um, what I would say, a bit of distractions of the week. Um, USMCA is a very soft spot for me still because even earlier today, uh, Speaker Pelosi during her weekly press conference, generally, of course, she is touting some credit or trying to assume some credit for the USMCA. And also she keeps, there's a couple of buzzwords that she just keeps throwing out there. One being, I hope he understands what we gave him. And I think there's going to be a lot that's going to be a fully loaded, a fully loaded implication in that. I'm not sure what it is, but the soft spot for me is that it doesn't appear that anybody actually read that particular document. Because if you think that the TPP or NAFTA was an actual, a horrible deal, then you certainly would not be a fan of the USMCA. And here again, I hate to beat a dead horse, but you know, with this much overreach from in a new in a new bill, a new document that's going to consist of a appointed committee to oversee the measures of trade. And it could happen at any time. They can make decisions at any time, they can change anything at any time including the migration issue, the migrants, the number of migrants that can come to the states. Well, to me, it presents also, not only will we have an issue securing the south border, we'll have an issue from the north because I would imagine that we may have people coming over, people that are already migrants in Trudeau's Canada that, hey, well, now we got an opening to go into the U.S. So now we'll have an issue with There'll be a different demand for border security and it'll be there are protections for illegal immigrants under this particular bill so i just think that we've just opened up a, it's a powder keg it's a huge threat to american sovereignty it's a huge infringement upon american sovereignty and i mean not to mention you know even pelosi spoke of the hr5 the bills that they these wonderful bills that they have that have, that have not been passed. I mean, the USMCA has protections in for the LGBTQ perversions group. There's a, a whole, pro, there's protections, there's protections for everything. There are protections that basically, that are, they're infringing protections. They're giving people carte blanche to infringe upon American sovereignty and calling them protections. So this thing is loaded with protections and that's one thing that Pelosi has spoken of in previous previous news or press conferences that they wanted protections for workers. So I just think that this country is going to change dramatically um, with us having people coming here that are, I mean, I'm not even sure how they're going to, uh, you know, that's going to cause like, you know, how are you going to vet all of these people that are coming here? You know, there's just so many, the law of the sea to me is probably going to be the only thing that might stifle something like this, which is something that hasn't been ratified. In fact, you know, for, for several administrations, they've basically avoided, I think to me, the ratification of the law of the sea. So that might, I don't know what that means for the document or for the, or for its success or I, I don't know. Um, however, you know, that's a part of, you know, my, my rant is the USMCA and, you know, farmers, you know, we've had farmer subsidies forever. Um, you know, I just, it's, I don't know, there's just a lot, a lot at stake with USMCA. It's very disappointing that 
that we've that we've kind of fought we're falling on our own sword and it just seems like in, in many ways and I'm not here to bash the president but I'm also not a loyalist I mean to me it's very much missing today is that people don't call out things that when there when there's a concern um, CFR the the Council for relations have already mentioned that they wanted the US to the US needs to import more people because they don't, they don't have enough people to fulfill the jobs well this is this is that fulfillment that's a win for them this is a globalist a, a globalism 101 you know they're getting their they're checking boxes off on this whole new world order and what they want and I just you know we've got you know this coronavirus we've got all kinds of things distractions Kobe Bryant is death I mean it's as while it is very tragic I mean these things are you know people are really really going overboard they're really going over a cliff over his death and these are distractions you know anything to distract people from what we need to be looking at I mean the primaries are just around the corner this impeachment situation I'm not sure based on some of the things that I've heard I'm not sure if that's gonna be if it's if it's coming to a close or if it's gonna be elongated if we have to call if we have to start calling these witnesses and things it's just you know we are at a huge precipice in this country and and very much as, as yesterday was historic it was of it was definitely of historic ilk because my concern is, is that we may have signed all of our we might have just signed ourselves over to the UN sustainable development checkpoint and how much longer will it be before we they sign our sign our rights over and we're being told what to do by blue hats and and, and our and our rights our first amendment our second amendment how much longer do what's the, the times ticking on those it seems so there's just a lot going on and i think a lot of people are easily distracted and at times you know i just think that that at this level we should be focusing on not only just having a sustainable economy but not but also making sure that we're not giving in to social protections and we're not giving in to things that are going to flatten our economy or giving in to, to measures that are going to slice away sovereignty every you know at any moment um, mass migrations you know we we've got a lot of work to do it's so much work to be done and it is a political season and I think that's another thing that people are getting lost in you know they think that it's bigger to have a political win or or to tout bipartisanship when you know to me you know less government and American sovereignty and and less foreign entanglements and and conservative or constitutional principles are where we should be in order to you know if, if the future belongs to patriots as I paraphrase, paraphrase what the president has said then we should focus on those principles and not let CFR, UN, NAFTA, and all these foreign committees direct traffic. So, hope everybody's having a great evening, and I'll see you next time on Black Spring with Autumn.